So there's something that is bugging me right now and I have work that I need to get done. It's late. I am probably going to go to bed and I'm going to allow myself to get up when I get up. Now, I usually get up pretty early. I'll get up and journal to start my day. Um, what that looks like, it's different on different days, but some days it's like five minutes some days i get up and it's more intense it's like an hour um some days i kind of journal and pause throughout the day while i get stuff done but i'm feeling uneasy and i want to be productive and i wanted to share this with you in real time so that you see what my process is. So I have my journal right here. And before I go to bed, I am going to just dump out all my feelings. I'm gonna dump out all my um, emotions because right now I feel like I am, I'm really in my feelings right now. <laughs> and one of the things that I value is being able to show up from a very pure place. I don't want my motives and my motivation to color the way I show up for the people who I have to serve. And so that means that I need to go through my stuff. That means I need to handle my stuff that means I need to walk through my own personal vision for this moment. So when I talk about the vision sequence and I talk about your vision, so much of it is insight. So much of it is insight. It is looking within yourself and seeing where you need to make a change, seeing what's really bugging you, seeing where you can find solutions and that's something I need to do tonight and it revolves around some things that I wanted to get done and did not get done because I chose to do something else that was aligned with my vision but there are times when you choose one thing over another and the other thing suffers and you need to come to terms with, am I okay with this suffering? Am I okay with my finances suffering so that I can do something with my family, right? Am I okay with my relationship suffering so that I can work on this project over here? Am I okay with this project suffering so I could work on this project? Am I okay with these things? The reason why this is so important for us to sort through these things and sort through these feelings, why it's so important is that if you don't take the time to sort out what you're going through in real time, you carry that into the next thing. So let's say I go to sleep tonight and these feelings that I'm having, I don't sort through them. I just, I just say I'm tired, I'm going to bed. And there's some days you're just tired. But if you're not in a habit of sorting through your thoughts and your feelings, those thoughts and feelings are going to follow you into the next day. And what happens the next day is that other things will happen. And then there'll be other thoughts and feelings around those things. And then the next day, other things will happen and so on and so on and so on. And what can happen is you end up in this swirl of emotions and you're overwhelmed and you're not really sure what's wrong, but everything just feels off. And you don't know how to fix it because 
you haven't identified what's really happening. You haven't identified what, what's really going on. You can find yourself melting down. You can find yourself snapping at people. You can find yourself just feeling irritable and not really sure what's going on with you, but you just feel off. And that's because you haven't been taking the time. Remember, I talk about those three daily appointments, an appointment with God, an appointment with yourself, and an appointment with others. And tonight, when I have this appointment with myself, I'm going to be able to sort through those thoughts and those feelings. And I'm going to pray before I go to sleep. So I am going to have an appointment with God. I have had quite a few appointments with others over the last few days. And it has been at the expense of my personal time with myself and I need to give that back to myself before I can pour out again and before I can be present again for others you see what I'm saying what I'm saying so it's important for me to give back to me and that's what I really want to encourage you to do is Yes, I know that you're going to need to show up for other people. You may have a husband, you may have children, you may have a business that you're running or a job. And it's important for you to show up there, but it's also important for you to show up for yourself. It is extremely important for you to show up for yourself because if you don't, all those other people in your life are getting... The, the broken version of you. They're not getting the best version of you, right? And when you determine to give yourself your best and when you've determined to give of your best, everybody benefits, right? You benefit from a sense of authenticity and completion and wholeness and wholesomeness because that's important to you and they benefit from you being fully present when you're with them so if you can give yourself the gift of being fully present with yourself being fully present with your thoughts and your emotions being honest with yourself about those thoughts and those emotions it's going to be easier for you to show up in the lives of other people so we may be looking for significance and wanting to show up for others and wanting to show up well for others and that's fine that's great but if you never show up for yourself if you never give yourself the time of day then that is a recipe for resentment so remember your daily appointment with yourself even if it's just before bed, at the end of the day, every day is not going to look perfect, and that's okay. I hope this helps. Blessings on your journey. I'll talk to you soon.